Good morning, children. I hope the identities are very thorough to you now. While doing each sum, I request all of you write the identity whenever you are applying below the sum so that it will be very very easy for you to remember. Let's do exercise 2.5. Question number one: Use suitable identities to find the following products. First one: x plus four into x plus ten. x plus four into x plus ten. The identity is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x into a plus b plus ab. Here, a value is positive four and b value is plus ten. Therefore, x plus four into x plus ten is the same as x square plus x into a is four and b is ten. Four plus ten plus four into ten. X square plus four plus ten is fourteen. Fourteen x plus fourteen. So the first answer is x square plus fourteen x plus fourteen. The second one x plus eight into x minus ten. Second one x plus eight into x minus ten. Identity. x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x into a plus b plus ab. Your a value is positive eight and b value is minus ten. Substituting x plus eight into x minus ten is the same as x square plus x into eight plus minus ten plus eight. Into minus ten, which is the same as x square. Eight plus minus ten is minus two, minus two x. Eight into minus ten is minus eighty. This is how we will do the problems. Since the general form is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x into a plus b plus ab. When you work out the problems A and B, you write with the sign. Third one, y square plus three by two into y square minus three by two. Two methods you can work out either by a plus b into a minus b. That is the first identity as a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square, which is the same as y square the whole square minus three by two the whole square. Y raised to four minus nine by four. This is the first method. The second method. Can be the identity x plus a into x plus b, where your x value is y square, your a value is positive three by two, and your b value is minus three by two. Substituting y square plus three by two into y square minus three by two is the same as your x value is y square, so x square will be Y square square plus your x value is y square y square into a plus b that is three by two plus minus three by two plus three by two into minus three by two the same as y raised to four positive three by two and negative three by two gets cancelled so y square term gets cancelled and Three by two into minus three by two is minus nine by four. Y raised to four minus nine by four. Both the methods preferably go with a plus b into a minus b. Question one, three and five. Try to do on your own. I have done one, two, and fourth one. 
Question number 2, 103 into 107, 95 into 96, 104 into 96. Without direct multiplication, evaluate the following using any one identity. You are not supposed to multiply directly any one identity. So, the identity is 103 into 107 can be split as 100 plus 3 into 100 plus 7. So, the identity you will be using will be x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x into a plus b plus a b where your x value is 100, a value is positive 3 and b value is positive 7. Directly you can substitute which is equal to 100 square plus 100 into 3 plus 7 plus 3 into 7 which is the same as 100 square is 10,000 plus 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 into 100 is 1000 plus 3 sevens are 21. You can arrange and add 10,000, 1000, 21. Answer is 11,021. 95 into 96, both ways you can do 90 plus 5 into 90 plus 6 or 100 minus 5, 100 minus 4. Let's go with 100 minus 5 and 100 minus 4. Similarly, your x value is 100. Your a value is minus 5 and b value is minus 4. By substituting 100 square plus 100 into minus 5 plus minus 4 plus minus 5 into minus 4. 10,000 plus minus 5 plus minus 4 is minus 9. Minus 900 minus 5 into minus 4 is plus 20. The calculation is first the addition then the subtraction. So 10,020 minus 900 to 9,120. The third one, 104 into 96 can be taken as 100 plus 4 into 100 minus 4. The identity is A plus B into A minus B is giving you A square minus B square, which is the same as 100 the whole square minus 4 the whole square 10,000 minus 16, 10 minus 6, 4, 9 minus 1, 8, 9,984. We'll be doing expansion first, then all the factorization questions can be done later on. Question number 4, expand x plus 2y plus 4z the whole square, 3a minus 7b minus c the whole square, 1 by 4a minus half b plus 1 whole square. I have selected 3 and the remaining 3 you can try on your own. The identity is a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. Take the value of a, b and c with the sign. Identity is a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square. 2ab, 2bc, 2ac. Here all the terms are positive. So x plus 2y plus 4z the whole square is equal to x the whole square plus 2y the whole square plus 4z the whole square plus 2 into x into 2y, x into 2y plus 2 into 2y into 4z plus 
2 into x into 4z. And that will give you the final answer. x square plus 4y square plus 16z square plus 2 into 2, 4. 4xy plus 2 into 2, 4. 4, 4s are 16 yz plus 2, 4s are 8xz. This is the 3a minus 7b minus c, the whole square. Your a value will be 3a, b value will be minus 7b, c value will be minus c in the identity. Expansion will be a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into a into b plus 2 into b into c plus 2 into a into c. Now you can rearrange with the sign. 3a the whole square is 9a square minus 7b the whole square is 49b square minus c the whole square is positive c square plus 2 into 3 6. 6 into minus 7 is minus 42 ab. 7 into 2 14 and there are two negative symbols here so it is 14 bc plus 14 bc. 3 into 2 6 there is a negative here so minus 6 bc. There are 6 terms in the expansion. Similarly your a value will be 1 by 4 a, b value will be minus half b and c value will be 1. Expansion as a square 1 by 4 a the whole square plus minus half b the whole square plus 1 the whole square plus 2 a b 2 into 1 by 4 a into minus half b plus 2 b c 2 into minus half b into 1 plus 2 a c into 1 by 4 a into 1. First three terms will always be positive 1 by 16 a square plus 1 by 4 b square plus 1 2 and 4 gets cancelled so half into half is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 a b again 2 and 2 gets cancelled minus b the last term 2 and 4 gets cancelled and plus half a so substitute the value of a b and c in the identity with their sign and in the final product you can apply the law of integers question number 6 based on a plus b the whole cubed or a minus b the whole cubed. A plus b the whole cubed is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. A minus b the whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. You need not take the value of a and b with their sign. Just to substitute the value directly in the formula. 2x plus 1 the whole cube, the identity is a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. And you can directly write it as 2x the whole cube plus 1 the whole cube plus 3 into 2x into 1 into a plus b, 2x plus 1. Those who have difficulty, first step itself, you can write your a value is 2x and b value is 1. Which is the same as 2 cubed is 8x cubed plus 1 plus 3 into 2, 6. 
6x into 2x plus 1. One more step. 8x cubed plus 1 plus 6 twos are 12. 12x squared plus 6 into 1, 6, 6x. This is the final answer. And you can see here there are 4 terms in the expansion. In a plus b plus c the whole square, there were 6 terms. Similarly, 3 by 2x plus 1, the whole cube. Your a value is 3 by 2x and the b value is 1. 3 by 2x, the whole cube, a cube, plus b cube, plus 3ab into a plus b. 3 cubed is 27, 2 cubed is 8. So, 27 by 8, x cubed plus 1 plus you cannot simplify the term. 3 3's are 9. 9 by 2x into 3 by 2x plus 1. And expansion as 27 by 8x cubed plus 1 plus 9 3's are 27. 2 2's are 4. x into x, x squared. So it is 27 by 4 x squared plus 9 by 2x. That is the final answer. Direct formula of A minus B, the whole cube. Your A value is X and B value is positive 2 by 3 Y. Since the direct identity A minus B, the whole cube, exists, take directly A and B as the values given as X and 2 by 3 Y. The expansion will be A cube minus B cube minus 3 a B into A minus B. In initial expansion, all the terms will be negative. While final expansion, the last term will take a positive sign. X cubed minus 2 cubed 8, 3 cubed 27, 8 by 27 Y cubed minus 3 and 3 can be simplified. So, there is 2xy into x minus 2 by 3y. The last step, x cube minus 8 by 27 y cube minus 2x square y plus 2 into 2 by 3 is 4 by 3 xy square xy square. So you can see that the finally last term will become positive in the expansion of A minus B, the whole cube. Using identity, get the value of 99 cubed and 102 cubed. 99 cubed can be written as 100 minus 1, the whole cube. Identity is A minus B, the whole cube is equal to A cube minus B cube. Minus 3ab into a minus b. a value is 100 and b value is 1. Directly substituting 100 cubed minus 1 cubed minus 3 into 100 into 1 into 100 minus 1. 100 cubed is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is 10 lakh minus 1 minus 300 into 100 minus 1. Again, we have to expand. 10 lakh minus 1 minus 3. 30,000 minus into minus is plus 300. So, I'm telling you first the positive numbers. You will add with 300 minus 1 minus 30,000. That is, you can write it as 10 lakh 300 minus these two terms together you can arrange as you are adding the negative numbers. Finally, subtracting 300 minus and this will give you the final answer.
9920 this is the final answer of 99 the whole cubed even here 100 minus 1 you are not supposed to write 99 again expand using distributive law 100 plus 2 the whole cubed 100 plus 2 the whole cube can be expanded as 100 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 into 100 into 2 into 100 plus 2 which can be done as 8 plus 3 twos are 6 600 into 100 plus 2 all addition factors Six twos are twelve. You can arrange and add. When you arrange in this way, you will never make a mistake in placing the digits. This will be the answer of hundred and two, the whole cube. Question number nine. Verify x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. We are asking you to verify whether the left hand side and the right hand side of the expressions are same. Let's start with the right hand side and expand. The right hand side is equal to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. You can expand with x first and then you can expand with plus y. When you expand x cube, x into x is x square that is minus x square y plus xy square plus y x square minus x y square plus y cube. When you see here, minus x square y and positive x square y is getting cancelled. Positive x y square and negative x y square is getting cancelled and finally it is x cube plus y cube which is the LHS. So, x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square is a very important factorization formula. Similarly, with x cube minus y cube, the identity is x cube minus y cube is the same as x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square. Let's expand and see. The right hand side is equal to x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square. Expanding with x, x square plus xy plus y square. Expanding with minus y, x square plus xy plus y square. The terms x cube plus x square y plus xy square minus x square y minus x y square minus y cubed positive x square y and negative x square y positive x y square and negative x y square and you are getting x cubed minus y cubed is equal to the LHS. Thus the two important factorization formulas are x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square and x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square. So for the factorization topic, these two identities also will be very very important. Kindly revise the factorization methods so that it will be easy for us to go ahead in the next class.